Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just wanting to know, uh, did June die? And um, are my sons participants in any sort of... Uh, mm -hmm of inheritance. It seemed to me that when Heidi was going to be cut out of the will, Tolman Pooch, that was really a mean letter that he sent to uh, Jeff Smith at Lee and Hayes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I thought there was some elder abuse that involved uh, June's uh, finances. Mm -hmm. Could you call Cherie Kingery Webster and Lori Kingery and Stephen Kingery and <laughs> June's previous husband's Pooch? <laughs> exactly how many family members have been involved in the fraud of keeping me from my sons? Ouch. And then I'd like to know, did Miriam teach Heidi a lesson about don't file for default dissolution of marriage when you know that the guy responded? Ouch. And then how many of those that have married women that have been married that have children from previous marriages? Yes. <laughs> Got served some sort of... Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, permanent order for support where they were not allowed to see the actual child support that the uh, petitioner said that she did receive, but I didn't think she did. <laughs> now there's multiple lawsuits here. Ouch. Ouch, ouch. When I'm going to sue Miriam for allowing a default dissolution of marriage to be admitted without finding contempt of court for trying to deceive or commit the fraud on the other party. <laughs> I'm going to sue Judge Landis for continuing to keep me on the docket when <laughs> it looks like I married a habitual liar that only lied every decade or so. <laughs> Now, there's what's known as the falsus in uno doctrine. Yes, false in one thing, false in o. <laughs> oh, the principle that the fact, the 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 factorial believes that a witness's testimonial material issue is intentionally deceitful. The fact trier is permitted to disregard all of that witness's testimony. <laughs> Once a mandatory jury instruction, this doctrine has been nearly universally rejected. Pooch, <laughs> it's a doctrine that they no longer accept that once you've lied about something, you've lied about everything. Ouch! Ouch! Well, let's see. If you lied in previous divorces, and you lied in this divorce, ouch! What did you lie about in the previous divorces that I have the right to sue the judiciaries for allowing? Ooh, 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 ooh. Then there's that blended family, the combined families of persons with children from earlier marriages or relationships. You know, as a stepfather of a non-biological daughter known as Jessica Lee Hodges, ooch, when you admitted her declaration, Judge Roar, <laughs> let's see, she was from Tim Hodges' marriage. Mm -hmm. Now, I did move my family to Vancouver, and I did support her at the Washington State School for the Blind, ooch, and I'm not a child abuser or domestic violence abuser, mm -hmm. but it seemed that my wife had been through this whole disillusion of marriage multiple times before she did it to myself. <laughs> and for some reason, you didn't want me to obligate her to prove the actual mm -hmm, numbers used in the family support order. Pooch, pooch. Now, I know that there's more than one husband out there that looks at it and says, well, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I don't think he paid back child support either. <laughs> foo -foo -foo -foo. <laughs> and then when I found out looking online that <laughs> she motioned the court for default disillusion just like she did to me. <laughs> And then you reissue a protection order? Mm -hmm. Is it, well, if you lied in the previous marriages, what's to say you didn't lie in this one? Oh. Um, in fact, um, who did you serve on August 27th of 2015? Now, um, Family Educational Rights and Privacy Act, a federal that prescribes minimum standards for the maintenance and dissemination of student records by educational institutions? Yes. These rights and privacy, pooch. When you put anything involving my sons on the internet, does it violate my rights as a father to not have their information on the internet? Oh, oh, 
Uh-huh. And then there's a oh, immediate family of persons, parents, Ooch, Doug, and Sandy Taylor. <clears throat> On Heidi's side, it would have been June Irving, a spouse. Mm -hmm. Heidi's previous spouses, Tim Hodges and John Bosma. Then there's the children. There's my five sons, and then there's Jessica. Now, Jessica had some half-brothers or sisters because Tim didn't get married. I wasn't at the marriage. Do you remember that? Then there's Chandra Hodges, her half-sister. And then there was Sean Hodges. No, it was Sean something or other. We were living in Airway Heights, and Jessica had spent some time with her half-sister, Chandra. And... Uh, Sean worked at Microsoft. Does Bill and Melinda Gates remember Sean? Well, looky there. One of the Microsofties. <laughs> Seemed like he was all lizarded up because he asked me why I wasn't at Tim Hodges' marriage. And I said, well, I wasn't invited. <laughs> I happened to have married Tim Hodges' ex-wife. <laughs>